Despite pushback from the White House, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is ramping up border enforcement, and it appears illegal immigrants are getting the message and are instead heading to other border states. CBP sources tell Fox News that over the last week of January, Border Patrol apprehended over 32,000 illegal immigrants, and more than 71 percent of those apprehensions are now in Arizona and California. So here to react is Pinal County, Arizona Sheriff and U.S. Senate candidate Mark Lamb. Uh, Sheriff Lamb, uh, let's talk about these numbers. Let's talk about the shift. Why? Why is uh, the focus of illegal immigration moving from Texas to Arizona and California? Look, the cartels are a business. They're always going to push towards the path of least resistance. And if so, if Texas is putting up resistance, you're going to see more flow towards Arizona. Please, Plus, people are watching the news, too, even the people that are trying to come here illegally. And so if they think Arizona is a better opportunity, that's where they're going to go. That's why we've seen a 30 percent increase over the last few weeks down in the Tucson sector alone. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, this is back in Texas, Eagle, ha Eagle Pass apprehensions in December, 71,000 in January, down to 16,000. That's a, there you, there's your 76 percent drop in, in one month. So, Sheriff, it, it, tell me, is it simply like squeezing a balloon? Is it is it, you know, you, you get a little bit of enforcement in Texas and the cartel shifts to Arizona and California? Or is it actually a different flow? Do you get a different illegal immigrant out west than you would say in Texas? Yeah, in the Tucson sector, we're going to typically get those people trying to avoid detection. The majority of what we get in Tucson sector are people dressed in camouflage clothes, carpet shoes, people that the cartels are trying to keep from law enforcement finding. We also get the flow of people from Africa and Syria and China, and those people come over and claim false asylum, make false asylum claims. But that's why Tucson sector also leads the way in gotaways, is because we do have that piece of people that are coming with the Border Patrol trying to avoid uh, detection by Border Patrol and by us. Whereas in Texas, it, the, it was more typified by what type of illegal immigration? Right. That's right. No, what type is it? Is it more oh, Central no, American or what? Yeah, uh, you're, you're going to get a little bit of everything, but you're going to get the people coming over and just saying, hey, look, I, I claim asylum. So they're give ups. That's what we call layups or give ups. What mm. we get out in Tucson sector are people that are actually trying to get away. That's why Tucson sector, no matter what the flow is in Texas, always leads the way in Godaways. What about in, in the style and in, in path, not just who it is, but how it is they, they, they illegally Im immigrate? You know, uh, in, in, and I know you're speaking directly to Tucson, which you have direct experience with, but we're also talking about a growth in California. I mean, is this, I, I've been with you. It's, it's much more rural, it's mountainous, but uh, what about tunnels and, and that type of situation versus what you would see in Texas where it seems to be coming a lot through ports of entry? Yeah, your tunnels are going to be right there closer to the to the cities like Nogales. You're going to see those around there. You're going to see a lot more just rural crossings out in the middle of nowhere. You know, we uh, I, I sent my son down to an area that was about an hour away from anything. And there was a full on camp. Obviously, the NGOs were there full force, giving them water and food and giving them a soft landing, spending our talk, tax dollars on on aiding and abetting this illegal activity. But they were far from anything and they were all from from uh, Sudan, from Africa, from Syria, from Middle Eastern countries. Mm. So there's a lot more remote crossings when you get out into Arizona. And it is very tough terrain. Look, we were just on, uh, we did three rescues, I think, yesterday alone. The majority of my, my, my helicopter fuel and all those things, the resources we use to help Border Patrol are expended on, re on rescues out in the mountains. Well, Sheriff, far be it for me to pretend more familiarity than we actually have together, but I'm going to say it. That's a good-looking hat you got on this morning. <laughs> Thanks, I, mean, I don't know if it's new, but the <laughs> shape and the color, that's good. You nailed it. I appreciate it. <laughs> As you're running I for got office. it. I'm running for Senate now. <laughs> I, know, I that's look what I good, about. you know. He's running for office, and look at that hat. He got the right hat. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.